Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to make the letter E out of Boondoggle. Um, obviously I'm going to be showing you how to make it out of Boondoggle because I'm the Boondoggle princess. But um, you're just going to need to do, do some prep work before we actually get started. Um, you want to make three like little pieces of brick. Um, and you want two of them to have uh, 20 stitches. Wow, I just like blanked on that. 20 stitches each and then one is going to have 15 stitches each. You're just going to start a regular boondoggle square um, and just do one stitch of it because you have to like add these other ones in. Now, I have my three right here and um, I still have like the ends attached to them just so that they're easier for me to hold on to um, and so that I didn't lose them because that would have been really bad and it would totally wouldn't have been. No, I am... Um, I, like, was prepping these things, and then I, like, left them out in my living room, and I, uh, I was about to start filming, and, like, I just, for some reason, went back into my living room for something, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I couldn't have filmed without these things. It's a good thing I came back in here, because I would have been looking all over for them, and I never would have been able to find them, and now I am moving my computer. But anyways, back to the point. So, you have your one, um, your one stitch right here. You just want to take one of your, um things of boondoggle that has uh, 20 stitches. Wow, I am losing my mind today. And you want to start to, like, get it to stick into the, um, into the little project. So you're just going to slip it through the beginning loop. This is always my least favorite part. Alright, so now that you have it like in there, um, right in there, just form your stitch. Um, your like second stitch on here. You usually only want to have one done um, so that like they kind of stick together. Does that sound right? <laughs> well, okay. And then you just want to um, kind of want to move this one over to the side just like that because you're going to take this other strand and you're going to go in there as well. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to re-implant, um, not re-implant, just do another stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to keep working. Um, you want to probably do about 15 to uh, 20 stitches in between each like little um, like table thing. Wow, I just saw... Um, a piece of sharpening from when I sharpened my eyeliner pencil uh, on my um, like little stand thing over by the corner of my room and I thought it was a spider and I was about to freak out. I was like, oh, I looked about three times and then I realized what it was, but um, it's not a spider. So as you can see, it's, um, it's going straight across just like that. You want to do um, about 15 more stitches and then do the same thing that you did and really simple. The only hard part is like stretching out this loop here. I hate, I hate it. <laughs> okay. So just, you know, form your stitch. Who is texting me? Ay, ay, ay. Ah. Okay. Then, of course, after you do your first stitch, you just want to move that to the side and take this next green one and put that one through there, too. It always helps if you have pointed ends. I have flat ends right now. And so mine are not having any of this. Um, well, this one was a flat end. That first one I did wasn't a flat end, but this one. Oh, yay. Go through. 
Sometimes when I do this and I can't get them to work, it makes me feel like really claustrophobic. <laughs> I don't know why, but it, um, it just makes me feel trapped. Here. And that'll straighten this center one out. Alright, now you just want to do your 20 more stitches. Now I did my 20 more stitches, and um, I'm just going to take my last little E thing, and I'm going to connect it. Same as I had been. Okay. And now it should all be tightened into place. So you can kind of see the crude development of the E right there. Um, and really all that's left to do is just cut the ends and burn them. And then you will have a completed E. So um, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and check out my new website. So I'll be back soon with more videos. Bye, guys.